Hello and welcome to another special video review and today we've got the New Age uh, Stratos number 49 Hamono? Hamono? I don't know. <laughs> Stratos or Stratos? I don't know but yeah we have Wheeljack from New Age right here. This is the uh, first release uh, of the uh, cartoon colors. There's gonna be a bunch of colors knowing New Age. So yeah there's probably gonna be a toy, a a uh, shattered glass, a I don't know. There's gonna be tons of them. Probably also the uh, evil version of it. So, well, whatever. But yeah, we have cartoon version here. So yeah, we have the cart, the robot mode, and yeah, pretty much it. On the back, we have a uh, couple of shots. Well, one shot with the Dinobots. That's pretty cool. So yeah, let's stop wasting time with the box and see what's inside. Oops, oh, it's on the other side. Go. And nothing in here, so close the box, put it in the background. So first up, instructions. Now transformation is kind of weird. <laughs> uh, it's nothing we've seen before that I haven't seen anyway. But yeah, transformation is pretty in depth. Kind of complicated when you don't know it at first because there's a lot of twists and turns you have to do. But uh, yeah, it's not that bad. So yeah, there you go. Got this. Uh, nothing on the uh, outside, the other side. So yeah. We have QR codes here if you want to go check it out, uh, like uh, YouTube and BBD. So it's kind of either one of them. So yeah, that's that. Put this aside. Uh, we got accessories and the vehicle. Oop, okay, I'll put this back. <laughs> there you go. We have Kratos. We have an arm here because we're going with the build a figure right now. So. Uh, I think uh, Wheeljack is the first release with this. So we have an arm here, so the right arm. So yeah, I forgot the name of the figure that is, but I'm pretty sure it's the uh, sort of uh, uh, mixed up uh, robot. I forgot his name. But yeah, kind of like a one arm of uh, Prowl, the other arm of whatever, just like piece of uh, robots together like that. So I think this is the right arm. So, yeah, we'll come back to this once we have all the other pieces. And we have a bunch of accessories. So we have the launch box, which is a toolbox, actually. We have uh, uh, this thing, I forgot what it is. We have the shoulder cannon and the pistol. I'm gonna try and open this up. Oops. There we go. So, yeah, there we go. So, yep. So we have the sort of toolbox, which is pretty cute. Nice uh, metallic blue. Oh, there you go. Nothing to it, just that. <laughs> we have that uh, thing right here. I forgot what it is, a bomb or a scanner. But there you go. We have a peg right here, so I'm guessing we can plug it somewhere, but I don't know where, except for its hands. So, yeah. <laughs> we have the shoulder cannon. Just blue grape. Uh, can pop this up so this pops out it's just only sliding rail there you go so that's that and then we have the pistol tiny pistol just a metallic paint and yeah pretty cool now there is no storage for these in robot mode so that's a real bummer for me but uh yeah that's that's it you know <laughs> So yeah, for the vehicle itself, it's a really nice looking uh, wheel drag vehicle, more cartoon accurate. So yeah, we have less detail, 539 number, we got that big sticker, QC pass. I mean, it's cool that we know that it's been QC'd, but it's a little bit big for especially like a big, uh, for small figures like this. So yeah, underneath, it cleans up fairly nice. We do have the head here, but you know, it's not that obvious. It does roll, so yeah, really cool. Nice translucent uh, window, well, semi-translucent. It's not like super translucent, but I really like it. So yeah, we have uh, tail lights that are painted, the grill in front, 539, couple of details. Now I'm not too fond of that line right here. I know it's more accurate for the robot mode, but on vehicle mode, it kind of looks weird. I don't know, so yeah. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for vehicle mode. Uh, yeah, let's do a comparison with his buddies. 
So here's a quick comparison. So we have the Masterpiece, the Toy World, and the Studio Series uh, based on the, the uh, Bumblebee movie. So yeah, this one, of course, is more futuristic, but you can see the colors more uh, darker green, darker red, and a more yellowish uh, white. I'm going to say egg eggshell uh, white. I don't know. <laughs> or, yeah. It's more futuristic, so it doesn't really fit. We have the Masterpiece here. Of course, it's uh, oversized <laughs> compared to it, but you can see the color is more like toy accurate, more like darker forest green and the darker red. There's also all these uh, publicity of companies on the, the car. I don't know this one is more cartoon accurate and this one is more toy accurate. So there you go. And of course, I wanted to make the comparison with the Toy World one. So the Toy World was one of the first tiny legend size figure and was wheel jack. So you can see it's a little bit longer, but you can see the color scheme again is more toy accurate. So a darker green, darker red, more publicity and, uh, and brand on the side. We do have the same number though, so that's good. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah. Now we can, oh wait, I got another comparison. So we have here a um, couple of New Age that I have on a hand. So we have a New Age Inferno. So you can see size comparison. Uh, we have New Age Prawl. So yeah, same size-ish. Prawl might be a little bit big. Well, yeah, they, they're both the uh, same company, so we're both New Age. And we have a, a core class RC right here, so just to show size with a core class. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we can move on with the transformation. So, transformation. Uh, okay, so first off, you want to come here on the uh, sort of a uh, step of the car. So, flip this down like this on the other side you need to sort of like pull out from the side and then rotate because it's tabbed in onto the side right here so you can see here tiny tab so I'll bring it down like this and then you want to sort of bring the car down here and extend it like this focus there you go so it was like that so you just extend it like this so you have this so let's start to work on the feet so unplug them and uh, then you have to Bring this on the side like this, open. Bring the toe out like this. Rotate it on the other side like this. And then close this tab right here on the other side like this. So same thing here. So flip this down on the side like this. Take the toe out like this. Rotate it all the way around like this. And then split in the middle here like such and bring it on the other side like this. So you have that. Next up you want to accordion out. So it's like sort of like this and you accordion it out like this. Take the door panel, flip it down, rotate it, and then bring it all the way down like such. And it will clip in like such. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so we'll do the same thing on the other side. So accordion it out, bring it down. Take the door, flip it down like this, rotate it, and bring it down like this, and clip it in. There you go, like this. Now you can see here the waist sort of like triangles up, but you need to make it triangle down. So rotate the leg like this. Again, on the other side, rotate it like this. There we go. And we have the legs all done. Come to the top right here. You want to separate the and so just bring them down, bring them down like this. So you have that. You want to separate the arms like this, bring it up, and then you need to rotate this all the way around, bring the arm down, and then you have this part right here, which is kind of loose on mine. Well, I'll say this, but <laughs> it clips in. But yeah, you can see it's kind of loose. Focus, geez. So oh, yeah, I got that like this. Bring the arm back in. So let's do the same thing here. Clip it out. Rotate the whole arm out. Bring it out like this. Bring this down and bring the arm up again. So we have this. As for the arm here, you want to bring it all the way down 
like such, like such. And then you rotate the wrist and then you bring it back up like this. So bring the wrist up, well, down like this. Rotate it up and clip it back in. So we have the arm pretty much all done now. Bring these down, make sure these step up and bring this down like such. And now you have this part right here. This part right here, you want to flip this in like such, rotate the whole thing on the other side, like such. This, uh, the spoiler, you need to close it in, rotate it like such. And now you bring the whole thing down like this and then you uh, sort of like open this up a little bit and then you bring this down over and voila, Ooh, we're pretty much done. <laughs> uh, just fix the arm here like such. This will plug in, rotate and there you go. So yeah, I've got this panel on mine that is really loose, but yeah, there you go. We have wheel jack all transformed. And yeah, it looks pretty damn good. I love the proportion, love the look. Everything is nice about it. The backpack, eh, it's not the greatest though, but yeah, it works for the size of it. We do have these panels that I'm not a fan of, but pretty much all of the uh, other uh, wheel jack that I know also has like these panels here. So yeah, <laughs> the leg is pretty nice. So yeah, the head sculpt is pretty good. The head is on a ball joint, so can go up a lot. Rotate, tilt side to side, rotate, no problem. The arms are on ball joint, so you can see it rotates, and uh, that panel really bothers me. But uh, yeah, it's only uh, that. The other one is pretty good. It flips out, but it, you know, there's at least some uh, resistance. But this one is just floppy. But yeah, ball joint here, like this. Rotation of the bicep, double jointed elbow. Uh, we have the wrist right here. We can rotate. Uh, uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we got the wrist. We have waist rotation. We have sort of like ab crunch, but you know, it's more for transformation, but it's there. Uh, legs can go up like this, but it hinders on the uh, chest a bit. Can go back. Can do a split a lot. Rotation at the upper thigh. The knee bends a little bit more than 90 degrees. The feet can tilt up and down, tilt side to side. So that's pretty good. So there you go, that panel, jeez. Yeah, uh, we can give him some of his uh, article, also some of his, uh, the toolbox. <laughs> we have the uh, shoulder cannon right here that plugs just on the side of the head, like such. We have his gun, there you go. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So well, it's such a tiny figure, it's really awesome. But yeah, it's not perfect because, you know, of course, beside the, the friggin' panel here, but the side of this, like you can see, it's sort of pops with the hinges here. I mean, it's so small, it doesn't really ba ma ba matter th that much, but you know, we could have just had like sque squished in and it would have been perfect. And the backpack is, again, not that greatest, but it works, I guess. Yeah, yeah, the heels are a bit long. That's just nitpicking at all. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, that panel is really bothering me a lot. That's it. The rest is pretty nice. Uh, as I said, the, the, the chest could have needed, like it just squished in maybe. It's not a big problem. It's, this figure is so small, it barely shows. But yeah, it's there. So <laughs> there you go. Really nice little figure. Jeez. That panel is gonna need fixing. But yeah, for comparison, we uh, I have the masterpiece. Uh, we have the Studio Series. Yep. We have the Toy World, and the Toy World is pretty much the uh, main contender right here. So there you go. Uh, both G1 looking. One toy, one cartoon. And yeah, I really love the proportion of the Magic Square, uh, New Age one, Toy World. Uh, it's a little bit big, I think. More stylized, I think, I guess. But yeah, I still think the proportion uh, looks pretty good on the New Age. 
looks a little bit more stumpy, but I think, you know, it's accurate to the character. So, there you go. Little uh, Wheeljack collection. Uh, for other comparison, we have a New Age Inferno, New Age Prowl, so you can see other New Age side by sides. So you can see a small scale. And we have the uh, Studio Series RC Core Class, so you can see it size wise. Even though the car was way smaller, you can see that now it's pretty close. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. New age. Uh, was that Stratos M49 Hammond? Yeah, Oof. I don't know the, 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 the meaning of this, but yeah, wheeljack, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. It's a really awesome figure. It's not perfect. Like these panels uh, on the side really bothers me. But, uh, you know, it's fixable. But yeah, the, the main problem is really like the, the chest area. Focus, jeez. The main area like this hinges could have gone inside. It doesn't, you know, hold because of course it's like that. And even the image on the, uh, the box is accurately. Really annoying. But yeah, <laughs> still, uh, I'm pretty sure it's only my figure. It shouldn't be something like uh, widespread problem except for this. this this is the only main concern for me but still a really nice figure I really like it transformation is interesting it's fun not too complicated it's original so yeah I'm um, still a high recommend for me if they don't have this <laughs> on everyone uh, will be a high recommend for me so yeah new age Hammond Stratos wheeljack number 49 whatever <laughs> I recommend. Really cool figure. But uh, yeah, there you go. You know the song. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.